Hello, radiographers. Hope you are doing good. Today, I am going to show you the planning of the MRI brain for epilepsy. So, epilepsy protocol is a common protocol. Doctor advises for the uh, epilepsy or seizure or convulsion problem of the child and also sometimes for adults. So, without further ado, so let's start the MRI brain epilepsy protocol. So, I have taken the protocols from brain and the all routine brain protocols will take and two epilepsy protocol I will select for this patient. The localizer is scanning for brain. And now at first I will plan the T1 team sagittal for the whole brain. And planning this protocol for sagittal and slight thickness decreasing to four because because the head is small. And now I am opening. I am deleting that T2 coronal and open that T2 axial transverse and planning the axial clear or dark fluid protocol for the transverse images. On the localizer. So now from the brain epilepsy, the from the brain epilepsy folder, I'm selecting the two protocol, T2 coronal and T2 team coronal, and dragging this protocol in the exam list. So I bring these two protocol to the to my exam list and open the protocol and plan the epilepsy protocol. So at first I am planning T2 team coronal dark fluid because this is an epilepsy protocol. So always plan on the T1 sagittal image and bring the hippocampus on the image. The hippocampus area is important for epilepsy and epilepsy occurs in children because of the problem in the epilepsy area, or sorry, hippocampal area. So plan the slices on the hippocampus and oblique the coronal slice. This is an oblique coronal. And plan the coronal slice over the hippocampus so that the slices are perpendicular with the hippocampus. And cover the whole temporal lobe at the front and at the back. And the whole uh, ventricle with the hippocampus should be covered. And the main thing is that the slice thickness is 3. Always keep slice thickness 3 for epilepsy protocol and you can keep 25 slices or increase. But the main thing is the slice thickness is 3 for epilepsy protocol and the coronal planning should be the perpendicular to the hippocampus. This is the main thing. And also plan on the axial images so that the slices are uh, parallel on the both side and copy the planning and copy the planning for T2 coronal I am dragging the T2 coronal image and copy the planning from the T2 coronal dark fluid that I plan for epilepsy the plan is copied and keep applying Click apply button and the protocols are running 
the T2 team corona. And now I am planning for the T2 transverse dark fluid for whole brain. And this is the flare coronal for epilepsy that I plan. This is the third protocol T2 team coronal. And I am planning on this for the T2 axial dark fluid for the whole brain. And after planning, keep apply. So as I plan the T2 team transverse axial, the all axial protocols have copied the plan. So no need to plan these all protocols. These plans, these protocols are copied the plan from this team coronal. So this is the sign of copy. Copy five, copy five, copy five. So now I will print the T1 images, select the series and send it to the film sheet. And open the reference image and also send it. And then on the filming, select the film layout. The four into five because there is 19 slices and one reference image. And remove the reference images from the original reference image. And adjust the window and zoom pan. Then in the film. And now this is the, this two coronal is the epilepsy protocols. One is the T2 dark fluid coronal and one is the T2 coronal, normal T2 coronal. I'm selecting both the series at a time and rotate a little bit so that the images are straight. And I'm sending these two protocols to the filming together. And because there is 25 images, I am selecting the folder patient folder and selecting the layout to five into five and, and there's 25 images are fitted in the film and there is two film. One is T2 coronal dark fluid and one is normal T2 coronal. And these two are the main epilepsy protocol that I plan on the hippocampal area or hippocampus and this is an coronal oblique plan then the slices are perpendicular to the hippocampus. So I am filming this two coronal, adjusting the window and zoom pen. So after the proper filming, click print or expose film tags to print. Now the rest of the brain will I will print. So this is a dark fluid axial. Select the series and send it to the filming, and then go to filming. So, zoom pan the images so that the images are fit in the segment, and also you can set the window level or brightness and contrast of the image. So for epilepsy brain, you have to take the routine to brain protocols and two or three epilepsy protocols. That's that's it. The cover the epilepsy protocol. And sometimes the patient may have epilepsy for other brain pathologies like tumors and hemorrhage or any other brain pathologies. So you have to consult with the radiologist in this case. Right? If you have to take epilepsy protocols additionally, even the patient have the pathologist on the brain. So now I'm painting the rest of the films, the T2 axial 
and removing the reference images from all the segments. And this is the T2 Excel file. I already printed T1 sagittal and T2 team coronal epilepsy, T2 coronal epilepsy protocol, and then T2 axial dark fluid. And now I am printing the T2 axial, the normal T2 axial film. I take times for adjusting the contrast and zoom padding. And this is the T1 coronal film. So as like the brain routine brain films. And then the diffusion weighted image. So I am printing the three films together. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. So if you like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page.